Hello everyone, my name is Jason Winter from MMOBomb.com and this is going to be my first look at Chronicle RuneScape Legends. It is a kind of card game-ish sort of board game kind of thing being done by Jagax who makes RuneScape and it's uh, kind of fun. I'm actually kind of enjoying it a bit but one thing I'm not enjoying is that you cannot change the volume of the music. You have to turn it on or off completely I like it a lot, it's really cute, but I'm going to turn it off for this first look because it's pretty loud compared to my voice, so I want you to pay attention to me, not the music. That's the important part. Um, so yeah, just look around here, a bunch of different stuff. As you can see, it's got kind of a neat little aesthetic. It's got this very book story kind of uh, feel to it, and you'll see a lot more of that as I get into the gameplay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do a practice match to start off. I've played a few games already, kind of know how to play. Uh, I'm going to go with someone I don't play much yet. I'm going to go with the Raptor guy. There are four different classes right now. Raptor is the tank, Arion's the mage, Ozan's the thief, Lunza is the blacksmith. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, Raptor is a very heavily armored kind of guy. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bronze match against a random opponent. And we'll see how it goes. I got Ozan. He's the thief guy. All right. So... The way it works is you have cards, and you'll lay them out onto a board. And you will lay out four cards per level for you to encounter, and your opponent will do the same. So Looks like off, I'm going first. Start off, I'm going to have the mulligan thing where I can choose cards to not keep. What is this? Okay, that was my draw. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, let's take a look at the normal card. When you encounter a card, the top numbers are what you're going to encounter. In this case, it would be a monster with five attack, three health. If I beat it, then I get the stuff down on the bottom. In this case, I would get one gold and a 2-3 weapon. Uh, if I beat this guy, let's see, he'll be... I'll get three armor and plus one attack. That's really nice, getting that permanently. Same thing with that. Some things are just stuff you get. In this case, I'd have to pay two gold in order to get this potion. Which would screw with my enemy, which actually looks pretty good. I kind of like that. There's not a whole lot you do that is directly based on hitting your enemy. Some characters have a little more than that. The mage character will be more likely to toss spells and so on. But most of the time, you're just going to go and affect the stuff that's in front of you. You can kind of see in the background, see the little spaces here, that uh, spaces that I'll encounter, spaces my opponent will encounter. So let's see here. This is actually a really good guy to start off with. He gives you, he's really easy to beat. He gives you plus one attack right off. That's the reward. Uh, okay, I'm not placing it. I'm just doing this stuff. Okay. Uh, it's the only weapon I've got. I don't need two of him. So, I'm a bonus attack. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say I don't need that right away either, because I'm not going to have a whole lot of gold. So let me do that. Get more cards back. Okay. Now I'm going to place my four cards. If I look down below here, I have two attack to start the game. Zero gold, 30 health. You win when your opponent is brought down to zero health. Kind of like what you'd expect. So like I said, I want to start with this guy because he has two health. You always get like the equivalent of first strike when you're attacking a monster. So if I have at least two attack, which I do, which I do, and I hit something that's got two, it will die before it gets its attack off on me. If I put this guy up first, I would hit him for two, he would have one hit point left, then he would hit me for one, and then I would hit him back for two and kill him off and get the reward for it. So this is a good guy to have early. You'll kill him immediately, you'll get your one attack, no problem. And that'll last the rest of the game, which I think is kind of unbalanced almost. So, I don't know, we'll see how, they, see how they play with that during the beta. So after I do that, I know I'll have three attack. So I can look at other stuff and say, okay, I can kill anything else in my hand with one attack. Except for this guy. He's pretty large. I'm going to save him for later. What is that? Okay, that is a strike card. That will allow me to actually hit my opponent, and I'll do my attack damage to him. Uh, but it's going to cost you one gold. So I couldn't place it here, because I'm not going to have that one gold. So let me start by... Yeah, I can place him. That'll give me some armor and even more. I can place him. There we go. Armor and more attack. Place this guy. will give me some gold. And then if I have this, I will have a weapon for, next, for the next time around. Weapons just add to your strength. You know, in this case, it'll add two to my attack power. And I'll have a three as a durability, so it'll have three attacks that I can use. If I do all those, click play. My opponent is placing his cards, but it's computer, so there's no time limit. And he's going first. So 
So he did this thing, he gets four gold, I get two. The rogue guy does a lot of manipulation stuff. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I lost a card when I do that, that's right. Okay. No big. He's gonna kill that guy, get three more gold, I'm gonna kill my guy. Three armor, which is... Oh, I guess I lost five health because of the card effect. But I'm pretty buff right now. He did not place a card? What is that strategy? I don't know what the computer's doing here. Kind of an odd choice. And now we move on to the next board. The Grand Exchange. So I got uh, two points added to my attack powers permanently. And then I have my weapon, so it's a 2-3. So I have an attack of 6, so I'm pretty good right now. Okay, battle now. That will, uh... Yeah, we hit each other. That's different from strike. Strike is when I just hit him. So your next enemy loses 4 attack. Well, that would be like this guy. Oh! So I can combo that with that. And not take as much damage from him. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Gain health equal to your armor. I don't really need the health right now. Okay, so let me do this. So then this will only have four attack. It'll only hit me for four, and I'll kill him in two shots. So I'm going to do that. I'll get a bunch more stuff, and then I might as well go ahead and smack my opponent down. And then I'll play that one. Sure. Yeah, might as well. Okay. But after he gets hit, okay. <coughs> so now this guy loses four attack, because that was what the potion did. So he's gonna hit me once, but. 7 2 weapon, wow. And health, wow. Okay, maybe I didn't want to battle him. He was just fighting me too. Oh god, this could be bad. This is gonna hurt. He's gonna hit me for nine and hit me for nine again when I battle him. Oh no! Oh! The pain! I'm gonna hit this guy, get put off at least. And he had no card to play? Okay. Okay, I need to uh, heal up or something here. <laughs> Gain armor equal to rival's total attack. Oh, that's going to be a great card. I have low health. I must be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Uh, yeah, so I will gain... He's, oh, he doesn't have his weapon anymore. Damn, ow. I could play this a little later on, hoping he might get a weapon. And it'll make that even better. But see, that is... I don't have a weapon. There's no weapon down here, either. Gain health equal to your armor. I should probably go for that, since I have some armor right now. Do I have any... Uh, or I could do that and then heal. Okay, I'm going to do this guy first. Because I'll kill him with one shot. He's got five health, I've got five attack. I'll get some armor. I'll get a little more armor from him. <coughs> so I do that, and then I gain health because I should have a lot of armor. Rival takes three damage to lose two weapon durability. I'm going to go for that because he might have a weapon by then. And then this card. Okay. Up takes damage to half your gold. He has no gold. I would gold. never turn down a chance to practice my skill. What a what an idiot! What an idiot. Get healthy with your armor. Yes. He's gonna hit me first. Whatever. Get you back. Take that. Mm, health up. And he did not lose a weapon, so that's kind of useless right here. He did not get a weapon. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get to smack him a little bit. Alright. Got a rival. You take five, I'll take two back. I'll get my armor. So he's down to three health now. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. If it gets to the fifth map, if we finish that and nobody has won, then we just battle each other. We just hit each other back and forth to someone dies. 
so this could kill him right here, this bash card. Oh, I have no gold. I have no gold! Oh no! I can't play anything! Oh, this is terrible. You draw three cards every phase, so... Who put this deck together? If I can, I should play some cards. Yeah, you think I should? Well, I, I don't have a choice, do I? The Raptor needs oh, more I can, gold! I can play stuff, it'll just go away, okay. There's no point in that. I don't want... That won't affect me, right? I don't think it will. I'm just not going to play anything, man. Oh, well, he, oh, he could give me gold. He could play that one card that gives me gold, so... I feel the like Raptor I'm... needs more gold! The Raptor needs more gold! I'm gonna try it here and hope that he the gives it right The Raptor needs more gold! Right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, he's gonna... he might die from his own monsters. At this rate. Affect me. I did not. Okay, I did not lose the five armor. Good. I'm gonna take damage here. Though. He did not give me gold, so I just wasted. It. Oh, he did! Yes, give me gold. Yes. I'm gonna win. Oh no, he's got. Oh, he got more damage. Got more damage. It's okay. Ooh. All right. Well, you know, it wasn't too bad though. He's still, he's still really low. And I think he's just fine. He's got one hit point left. So if I can get anything on him, anything on him, oh, he's got four. Oh, okay, I forgot. I keep I keep missing, keep missing where he uh, heals back up. All right, this is the last. This is the last uh, time through. So we're gonna fight each other at the end, if uh, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm not gonna need cards. I might as well use this guy. <laughs> Uh, I guess I go Skeleton Warrior, that will give me uh, three gold. So I can attack that thing, and uh, I'll gain more health. Yeah, okay, I, I suppose that's the way to go, probably. Yeah. Oh, he gets plus one attack just from that guy. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that and discard my last card, which is meaningless now. Rival takes four damage, ah, yeah, screw you. Whatever. I'm fine. It's only a flesh wound. He gets even more attack, but I think I'll still kill him with one shot. He's gonna get a free strike on me if you okay. I'm still okay. So I'll get health, we'll go to the final showdown, and I will clobber him. He clobbers first. No clobbers oh, fi finish him! This will make a good story, huh? Fatality. Just change some details. There we go. I won. Hooray. What do I get? I get tokens and crafting sapphires. Okay. Collect all. The and there we go. Awaits a worthy of foe. And you get a little recap of your battle afterwards. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, you level up just like, uh, you know, kind of like Hearthstone leveling up your heroes. As I level these guys up, I'll get some more free cards. So we'll just move on for a bit here. Uh, let me look at some of the cash shop stuff. Store, there's not much here. It's mostly just uh, boosters. In fact, it is just boosters. Single boosters. Uh, I got over 100 of the tokens now that I was getting from uh, doing that fight. I got just a few there. There are daily quests too, which are right here, I believe. So those will get you a lot more tokens. Like I said, you get like, I don't know, single digits, maybe 5 to 10 or so it seems for every uh, battle you do. And you get more for doing uh, this stuff as well. Uh, this, is not, this only counts in PvP, not in uh, training like I just did. Which is why none of this advanced. Uh, so sure, let me go ahead and buy a pack right now. Let's see what I get. 
open. I've never opened a pack before. What does it look like? How does it go? Do I click here? Basic booster. Click here. There we go. Open up. And the cards fly around. And... Okay. A Chaos Dwarf. Rival loses one weapon attack. Uh, okay. Oh, so that's for... This is for Raptor only. That's the guy I just played, so... Some cards are generic. But all I'm getting is Raptor cards now. Gold equal... Yeah, okay, alright. This is for anybody. Okay, this gives me a free strike afterwards. Okay. Oh, that is huge. Draw one equipment. Okay, that's... Alright. Gain three temporary attack. I do not know what those mean, and there's no tooltip for them. Okay. And if you have one attack, gain two attack. Alright. Kind of simple. And the cards go into my book. And I go back. Alright. Uh, and that is like, so that's all you can buy right now. And the packs is just the same thing. It's just buy packs. It's all they're giving you. They don't even have, you know, real money figured into it yet. Obviously, you'll be able to buy them for real money, I'm sure, at some point. As well as, as you can see, bundles, customization, legend customization, whatever. Uh, go to my collection. I have a bunch of new cards. And this is, of course, where you can build a deck. Uh, I've got this right here for my first deck, as I call it. The one deck I put together for uh, Linza, who's the blacksmithy type person. She uses a lot of weapons. That's kind of a, kind of her thing. What was that? I didn't get a weapon card, did I? I don't think so. Not for her. Yeah, I'm not going to make any changes to this. It, it, it worked for me. I played one game of this and I won, so not going to mess with it. Uh, but like you can see, you know, just you can go around, you can search for cards of various costs. Two types of cards. These are these, which are called support cards, the blue ones, and then reds are the enemy cards. Support cards usually cost you some gold to do. Oh, yeah, do that. Usually cost you some amount of gold and just give you a nice little benefit, as you can see here. Enemies, you know, like... Uh, enemies, like we saw before, these are the guys you have to fight to get the rewards for. Pretty simple, not too hard to figure out. Crafting is where? Crafting is a little complex. If I can find the tab for crafting, maybe it's back here. Uh, crafting, oh, there it is. Crafting, of course. So, as you can see here, I've got different currencies. Uh, sapphires, uh, emeralds, rubies, etc., etc. If I want to make, say, this guy here, Looks like he's going to cost me a lot, and I'm not exactly sure how this works yet, because you can see, played a few games, I'm not even close to getting this. Now, maybe he's just really unique and special. Let me see here. Mm, trying to find something that looks a little more simple, like this card right here. This looks common enough. And this is still going to require 70 of the blue triangle things, So, and I've only got 9 so far, so I don't know about that. I guess I could trash my extras. I probably don't have any extras yet, do I? No, I don't. All right, I guess as I played more and I'd get a lot more, it would be a little easier to craft. Right now, it just seems a little daunting. Like, you can see this guy here, he requires red. You can tell that by the little red token, because... What is it? Common, uncommon, rare, very rare, and... Uh, that's just, like, a little extra thing. I'm not sure where that comes in. Is that, like, the legendary? Here, let me find someone who's really super special. Um, actually, let me go to 7 plus cost stuff, or 7 plus health. I'm sure that'll be okay, like this. See, none of them have that little icon, though, the little person icon. So, that's no, that's like the legend crafting icon, something like that. I don't remember exactly how that worked. It came up briefly as a tooltip once, but, nah. All right, but, all right, just to get an idea, this one here would also cost me 70 blue. Looks pretty pretty badass for a common card. Uh, how about this one here? Cost me 70 of the legendary, the very rare stuff. Okay. Well, anyway, good idea how that worked. I mean, I, I don't quite know exactly how the costs are balanced. Don't have a great uh, handle on all the cards or you know, how rare stuff should be. So what is open exchange? Oh, right, right, right. I can actually convert some of my currency into different currency here. 
and I believe some of that cost me. Okay, it doesn't cost me any extra. It doesn't cost me real money. It's just kind of a crappy exchange rate. I could put five of the commons to get one of the uncommons. I can do the same thing here, but I don't have enough. Yeah, it's probably five to one for everything. But so it gives you a little more flexibility in that sort of thing. I'm sure there will be a guide to exactly how you should do this and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and so on. I'm not at that level yet. I'm just playing it, just kind of enjoying it. <laughs> Goofing off, so. All right, now let me try a real game against a real person. And yes, I'm going to play casual because I'm not going to claim to be even remotely. Right. All right, now I'm going to try a little PvP. I'm going to use my deck, my one deck, in a casual match because I'm not nearly good enough for rank. And I'm going to wind up with a match against this guy named Cryptic, and he is playing uh, the Rogue Dude. Same guy I played in the tutorial. Okay. All right, I can go first. So let's see, I have a lot of cards that cost gold, not a whole lot of cards that give me gold, so I want to get rid of some of this stuff. Because I found out that is not a good way to go with your life. All right, other stuff, that's good early. All right, they have low health or low damage, so yeah, jubbly bird. Pretty easy to take care of. Okay. So, I have two attacks, so I can kill anything with two very easily. Uh, let's see, that would give me just a one-shot weapon that will just knock stuff around. But I'm going to go with this guy first, so it's yeah! gold. Then once I do that, I can play this. It'll give me a 2-2 weapon that I can use to kill both of these with. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to play him. I must think fast. Oh, he's already played stuff. So I'll play this. So I'll take damage from it. And then I'll play that. And it. So my opponent is playing his cards really quickly. He got the penguin. <laughs> Lucky guy. See, I'm advancing my daily quest now. Discarded. That was that uh, flashing in front of me there. So I'll get this. So I'll get a weapon. He'll draw a card. We're just kind of doing our own thing, not really paying much attention to each other yet. A couple cards, including that big one. And he gets a weapon as well. And then he has no card to play in his last slot. Oh, poor guy. <coughs> and Jubbly Bird. Because Jubbly Birds are tasty. I'm assuming that's the reason, at least. Now, this guy, wow, that guy's huge. Nine health. Why did they put him in my deck? I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, but clearly I'm going to need a weapon to deal with him. If I do this, I would still take one shot from him. But then I would gain plus, I would get five health back, and I would gain plus one permanent attack. So yeah, I think I want to play it. So what is that? What are the attack types? Oh, well, that's not bad either. <laughs> that's not bad at all. So if I play this first, I can then smack him for a lot of damage. Or I can kill this guy first. And then... I still have enough gold. Okay, I'll have enough gold. I can do that. Play another one of these. And then smack him. Because I'll have a little extra attack. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I've, I've got a plan. Do. I totally know what I'm doing. Assuming he doesn't mess with my gold somewhere along the way. Although those are, well, shouldn't mess with my gold too much. I'm only spending two on this board, so... I think I'll be okay. I don't know how much time he has once I place. Oh, there we go. I can see a little thing ticking down here on the, on the button. So he's got... Uh, a quarter of his time left. Oh, okay, he finished it. All right. So I get that. He gets that down. Get out of him. Take four damage. Double your gold. Okay. That's what he's gonna do with that. He's gonna take damage. Oh, I got hit twice. Oh, I totally miscounted. What? Oh, because of the. Because my weapon is really good. Points. Oh, that was bad of me. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't real smart. Get another one of those back. At least I will smack you. Welcome. 
It is good to see you again. I'll take four damage and then I will crush him. <laughs> oh, even my weapon attack times two. Oh, okay. I thought it was my total attack times two. So you read the cards. All right, it's close. It's close. I still got uh, a little bit of weapon, but not much. He's got lots of gold, though. He's probably going to take advantage of that somehow, too. Um, I guess I should kill this first. I have no weapons on this board. Oh, man. So I'll kill this while I have the power. And then I guess I start going with this guy. No. Uh, build up a little gold, I suppose. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's really kind of crappy, but uh, that's all I can do right now. Yeah, I needed that. Go a little quickly there, hopefully force him into uh, making a rash decision. Still plenty of time, even after you do that. Weapon. He'll gain even more gold. Does he have some huge, like, 10 gold cost card coming up here? Because he's just accumulating. It is starting to worry me a little bit. He's got some huge thing he's just holding on to. Rival takes damage equal to half your gold. Oh, there we go. That's where, that's where it's coming from. I would never turn down a chance to practice my skills. That, that hurts. And then he gets a big sword at the end. Well... Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a strike card, though. If I can get a good weapon now, I'll be in great shape. Unfortunately, I've only got 7 health, and he could, uh... He might just smack me down instead. Yeah, he would kill me with a single strike. He's probably got something for that right now, so... I'm probably dead. I have low health. I must be careful. Well, that would be a pretty good choice, actually. This followed by that. Unless I can go that first. If I if I live that long. I probably won't, but I should give it a try, I guess. Sure, we'll try this. I'll at least get a good smack on him if I live long. If he doesn't just strike me in the first card. Ha! Which he probably is going that. to do. No, he does not. Okay. He doesn't kill me right away. A card. Oh, he's going to heal up a ton, though. Oh, well. I should probably have more healing cards in my deck. More, more defensive healing or armor. I'm just a little too yeah. offensive-minded. Have these pies as a reward. <laughs> so I'll throw that at him and deal uh, 14 damage, which is pretty cool. But it's not going to be enough, I think. <laughs> and I'll get another weapon here, so <laughs> maybe I can combo it. Maybe I can get enough stuff to combo and get the win. It's possible. He's got eight damage. He just he breathes on me, and I'm dead. <laughs> I got a strike here, though. I can do that. That would give me six. So I could have one more strike. I could. I must prepare for battle. I could attack next. Okay. Well, I was wondering if I should do the jump first, just to heal up. And that'll be only four damage. So I can get six there, and that'll be four more. I'll get him down to one. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Yeah, I'll go with the Jubbly first. Yeah, I needed that. Then I'll get the Strike. Yeah. And then this will basically make my weapon crap. <laughs> and then I got a new weapon. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's the way to go, I suppose. Yeah, it's the best I can do. He jubblies as well, yep. So he gets more health, yep. <laughs> but he has, does he have no more cards? Does he not play anymore because he wants to kill him on that weapon? No, he just heals again. Okay. Well, it's nice to get him for six, but then he's going to heal up. And I yeah. do not have any healing. Have these pies as a reward. 
so he's probably gonna win at the end. Well, oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I lose five health. Ah, yeah. oh, but he's gonna lose his weapon. Oh, okay. Right? Or does he keep it because it had zero health? Oh, his monster had zero health, so he kept it. Ah. So I'm gonna get one shot at him. Am I gonna win? Wait, am I gonna win? <laughs> Easier than I won! <laughs> With one health! I came a respectable second. I did not expect that. I was losing that whole match. Yeah, you, you kind of got to do the math on the fly. Or really, you almost do it... Uh, you do it when you're planning your cards. Obviously, it doesn't matter. Once you put them all out, there's nothing you can do. There's no interaction. So, you put them out and you kind of hope for the best, I guess. But, yeah. Okay, that's... Uh, that was a little surprising. I got to admit. What did I win? I win... Ooh, Sapphire. Oh, I got a legendary crafting token. Ooh... Ooh. You have to admit, that was pretty good! He's probably mad not to. I bet he's going to rage quit. <laughs> that or he's going to friend me and send me some really nasty uh, chat. Uh, yeah, okay, so not what happened? Not bad, not bad at all! And I get 10, it says I got 10 uh, like credits, like real currency, but they don't show up. Which I guess because they don't have a store in really yet, they don't have anything you can buy with real money. But they're not really doing that. It's just sort of a thing that's there, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, that's how a game goes. Like I said, sometimes you win when you don't expect it. If you can combo your stuff together well enough, you really have to pay attention, too, to when you're playing. Like, like in my case, since I have to manage weapons so much, I had to make it so that I didn't overwrite one of my good weapons with a different weapon. And, of course, and Linza, this character I was playing, she's the blacksmith, she's all about the weapon, so that's really her thing. Uh, you saw me, I was doing some dailies there, in the match you will never see, I actually finished a daily. When that happens, you actually have to click on the thing to gain the credits for it. I think it's kind of annoying. Kind of wish they wouldn't do it that way. It would just be auto-granted, but maybe that's something they'll change. We're still in beta. Consider that a little feedback. Uh, the only other feedback I really have for the game is, and it happened at the very end too, It's, I, I think they should make it so that you can alternate uh, who goes first and second on each board, on each, uh, each level. Because I think I was going first that whole game. And that, there is a bit of an advantage here. Not a ton, because again, you're doing stuff kind of simultaneously. Uh, well, not simultaneously, but you're you're not... It's not like a card game where you take like two turns in a row. But I think there should be maybe maybe alternate on each board. I go first, then he goes first, then I go first, he goes first. There are a few things that can mess with the opponent, like uh, changing their attack value or changing how much gold they have, stuff like that. Taking away their gold, basically. Um, so that's the sort of thing where you can only really plan for that if you know you're going first. Or you can only, you plan for it better if you're going first. It's more effective in that way. But, I mean, otherwise, I think it's a, it's a fun little game. I mean, it's, a, I've never played RuneScape before, so, yeah, I didn't go into it with any expectations of, oh yeah, it's gonna be just like RuneScape, or feeling like, oh, I'm gonna have to know how to do RuneScape in order to enjoy this. I do enjoy it, uh, pretty well without having any of that, so... Still in beta, they still got a ways to go, I think, but there's a decent foundation here. It's it's really fun, and uh, I really like the uh, the ambiance of it, the sort of storybook uh, graphic and feeling of it all. So this is RuneScape, or excuse me, Chronicle RuneScape Legend, Chronicle Chronicles, Chronicles RuneScape Legend. You go to rschronicles.com to learn more. As always, head on over to mmobomb.com for all your free-to-play gaming news and needs. My name is Jason Winter. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Later.